Hello, my name is Simeon Hart. I'm profoundly deaf. I have grown up deaf. I'm from a deaf family. My, my parents were, were both deaf. The first language that I've used growing up is sign language. I have a, a voiceover being provided today from a sign language interpreter to be able to tell you today what I'm signing here. I'm actually studying a diploma, a graduate diploma in law. Uh, which is going to lead me on to doing the legal practice course. Now, you might want to know why I want to study uh, law. Now, over many years, I've been able to witness the barriers that have been faced by many deaf and disabled people in their, uh, their access to legal issues and uh, issues around their rights, which has been a real problem. And, and in seeing that, it's, I've reflected on the cases that I've been through personally when it comes to employment law. There's been three of them. And I've had to use the services of solicitors. The first case that I went through uh, using a solicitor was drawing support in relation to a situation with a, a college, a college issue. In the, at the end of this process, I actually uh, won the case. I was given three months gardening leave, which was agreed at the time to uh, give a course for certain failures uh, to meet my needs at the time, but, and also discrimination uh, that I experienced. The second case, again, uh, using a solicitor, uh, I actually was uh, given an out-of-court settlement uh, because there was a breach of contract and um, other elements. The third case uh, was going through the process of judicial mediation, where it was found that my the respondent in this case, uh, who was disabled himself, had discriminated against me. Now, going through these, I, 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 I've been a real believer in equality. And for so many deaf people, they give up. They, they don't know how to navigate their way uh, through this process, don't know how to access information. And for me, this just is not fair. Why, why should people get away with such treatment leading to deaf people to give up? And, and this really is about quality and achieving equality. And so that's why I'm embarking on this process to, to study law. My hope is to become a solicitor at the end of this process. Uh, first of all, doing the graduate diploma in law. That will be my first step, which will lead me on to doing the legal practice course. And But at the same time, I will also um, be working with a law firm and doing work with them. So this is going to be really key. You know, it's really key to have a deaf solicitor who can have empathy. Uh, whether that's with deaf or disabled people. Because um, at the moment, there are only two deaf solicitors in the country. And I couldn't even begin to say how many disabled solicitors there are in Britain. There are only a few, uh, but, it, but we can't um, pin down a number on that because there's no uh, evidence to, to prove that. But what we do see is this inequality within the law. You know, with law itself, you know, it does... Does this allow for equal treatment for people who are deaf and disabled? You know, we, we can't forget those also who are vulnerable. You know, the inequalities that are just experienced by them and it's horrendous. And so I'm really hoping that, you know, from what you're seeing today and hearing today, it's going to be really important for me to be able to finance this, uh, to cover the costs of, of this particular course. You know, for, for recent times uh, with the coronavirus, my income has been significantly impacted and it's been very difficult, therefore, to pay for this course. So any monies that I receive from you will help me to cover these costs. You know, I don't I don't seek to gain from this process. I just want to be able to continue in my studies because uh, the benefit really is for deaf and disabled people. And for those who are vulnerable, it's going to be really key for them uh, to give them equality when it comes to the law. So thank you for watching, and I really hope that you would consider supporting me in this way. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.